Hi, this is Phil Chandler and we are at a small apiary here and we're just going to have a look at a hive that seems to have some problems. We haven't opened it yet so we don't know what we're going to find but this might be an opportunity to look at a hive and just see what, uh, what the, uh, the issues might be and what we can do about them. The first thing to notice is that we have a wasp problem. There are a number of wasps flying in and out of the entrance along with the bees and which tends to indicate that the bees aren't defending themselves terribly well. There's one just there going in now, trying to. Okay, let's take a look inside. Right, now first thing we can see on the floor is some uh, pieces of comb which, with bees crawling over them in a rather half-hearted sort of fashion. There's a bunch of bees here and a wasp trying to get in uh, and largely succeeding. There are some stores, there's some nectar I can see. I can see some nectar there on the first piece of complete comb, nearly complete comb. So they are feeding themselves, but there's a wasp there taking advantage of it and helping himself to the bee's nectar, which is not good. So let's have a look at the other side. Okay, we've got a largely empty comb here. Some bees on it and I can see another wasp just disappeared around the side there. Let's gently move this first comb away and we can see a lot of wasps, there's, there's three wasps right there trying to get at the nectar. So there is some nectar in there, there are bees in there, not a big colony by any means but there are definitely bees. Now we've, what we need to do next is to see if there's any brood. So we're just going to move these top bars back a little. Sealed honey. And there's a bit of a mess in there um, where some comb has either collapsed or been broken off during a previous inspection. Okay, I, I can see that there's some sealed brood there on this comb, so I'm going to try and... Yeah, that's all sealed brood, so I'm just going to prop that back for the time being while I take a look at this comb. Okay. These are bees from, allegedly from a New, New Zealand queen quite gentle bees and looks like it looks like we've got a laying queen I can see larvae I can see lots of brood I haven't seen the queen yet but there's definitely young larvae in there, so she's been there recently. I'm just going to take this bit of stray comb off. Okay, there's another good frame of brood there. There's a bee there with some green pollen on its legs. Not sure what that's from. But um, certainly, certainly larvae in there and plenty of sealed brood. So we know we've got a sustainable colony here. Their biggest problem is being robbed by wasps right now. They certainly won't have enough stores in there as they stand for overwintering. Treatment for this colony as it stands at the moment, is simply going to be a matter of closing down the entrance to an absolute minimum, 
so that the bees can defend themselves better. They're going to need feeding, certainly, I think. I'm just going to let the stragglers find their way back in. Okay. The entrance at the moment has two holes open plus a cork. So what I'm going to do is split this cork down the middle. Okay, I'll split the cork in half along its length and I'm going to put that there as a greatly reduced entrance with its own little landing board. And I'm going to take some grass because we don't have anything else to hand at the moment and stuff these other two holes with grass. Now that's going to make it a lot easier for the bees to defend themselves because they only have a very small entrance here now. As you can see the bees are using it quite happily. There's a drone just come out and a worker bee just gone in. Red. Red. Red pollen on that. Yeah. What would that be then? Um, don't know without looking in the book. There's, there's yellow know. pollen, there's several different colours of pollen coming in, so there's plenty of uh, forage out there for them still. And there's a wasp lurking underneath there. The bees are finding the entrance quite easily, they can get in and out, and they should find it a lot easier now to keep the wasps away. So the wasps, the, uh, the wasps are having a lot more difficulty getting past the bees now because uh, guard bees can very easily defend that small entrance and that should be enough now to deter the robbers and uh, allow this colony to recover. We will come back in a week or so and check them.